Could make the afternoon more perfect. Oh, shut up! Just be patient and wait for the solvent to work. This stuff does not burn, you know. Would you rather stay like that? Well, it doesn't look as if I have any choice. Don't do that! But but leave them alone! That's how you got like that in the first place. He told you not to touch them. Until they bonded, that's what he said. <laughs> how was I to know they'd still be tacky after 20 minutes? You didn't have to stick your fingers straight up your nose. It was itchy! <laughs> You know, I've got a pimple coming up there. Yes, something getting right up mine as well. <laughs> There's no need to be sarcastic, Beryl. You're the one who encouraged him to glue my shoes. Well, something had to be done with they them. They were quite all right. Both souls were flapping about, Alan. When you walked about on the patio, it sounded like a naked woman having a massage. <laughs> I'll get some new ones. Just trying to help. Yes, I know. Right then. <sighs> What is he doing in there? I mean, how long does it take to find something completely revolting to put between two slices of bread? Never knows what was in them last week. It tasted like kitty cat. Leave them alone. Do you know what I found in his fridge last week? Lard. Lard, Beryl. He's supposed to be on a low-fat diet. When I challenged him about it, he said, you can't make a pie crust without lard, Alan. Well, I didn't know what to say to that. It's not just lard, either. Condensed milk, processed cheese, that yellow margarine they invented in the war to use up axle grease. No wonder his arteries are blocked. He doesn't have pie very often. No, oh, I suppose so. <sighs> Is that any good? beyond this page. So far, Elizabeth Bennet has glanced across at Mr. Darcy 11 times. She doesn't get much further soon. They won't make it up until they're old-age pensioners. <laughs> oh. Look, when I came in, I put on the draining board in full view turkey slices, low-fat spread, Dijon mustard and a wholemeal loaf. Did you? Yes. Oh, thank goodness for that. I was beginning to think we'd never get a decent weekend meal ever again. Here we are. Aye, aye. It's Batman. <laughs> Lovely weather for ducks. I was slightly dubious when you suggested it, but it makes a nice change. Suggested what? Well, don't you remember? You said, why don't we eat out next week? Has <laughs> that solvent worked yet? Yes, yes it has. But I enjoyed having my finger up here so much, I thought he'd leave it there to show me friends. <laughs> <laughs> He's a carb barrel, isn't he? <laughs> yes. Uh, it is looser. I can wiggle it about. Ow! <laughs> you didn't touch those shoes, did you? They could still be tacky. No, I... Wait a minute. What sort of glue is it that takes 30 minutes to stick shoes, but bonds flesh to flesh in less than two seconds? Ah, yes. Well, that's largely why they banned it. Banned it? <laughs> yes, you can't get that for love nor money now. Roger Cook confronted the maker in a car park and called it a menace to humanity. What? Now, little, don't worry. It's perfectly safe as long as you obey the manufacturer's instructions. Now, who's hungry? I thought we'd have a change this week. Oh, did you see the stuff we put out? Where? On the draining board in the kitchen. Oh, I'm sorry, Beryl. I haven't been in the kitchen. You haven't been in the kitchen? No. I strolled round to Doreen's. Doreen's? The fish and chip shop. And we're in luck. <laughs> she just put fresh fat in. <laughs> oh, <Ooh, laughs> lovely. It's a skate, saveloy, chips and two pickled onions. That's yours, Alan? Pickled onions? Well, you must have a balanced meal. <laughs> That's plain kebab and salad. That's yours, Beryl. Slim and special. Oh, thank you. So this must be my cod and chips. Dad? You know very well you're not supposed to eat fried things. Oh, very well. I'll give you my chips. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not sure I want all of these. It costs £6.50. Did... Oh, right, well, hold on. 
Here, have this. No, 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 put it away. What, 6.50, did you say? Well, 6.47, to be exact. Well, just take 6.50 out of there. No, I don't want it. Beryl, have you got a tenner? Um. You keep it, Beryl. No, just take all this. No, I couldn't. Just, just take it. No, this is my treat. I insist. All right, you win. Thank you. Just don't like to see £6.50 of good food go to waste. I'm eating it. <laughs> Very generous of you, Brian. Oh, it's nothing. I mean, as you've been so generous, perhaps you'd let Alan and I pay for something next week. Well, that would be very kind of you. Perhaps we could take you out for something. Out to a restaurant. A restaurant? Yes, it's a big place with tables where they bring you food. <laughs> I'll think about it. Good. Now, you tuck into that, and in a while, we'll have a look and see how those shoes are getting on. They'll be as good as new when they're done. I feel completely sick. You didn't have to eat it all. How could I leave any after that? Oh, at least he said he'd think about a restaurant. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that cat from down the road get under my feet. Shoo! It's like you. Cat! He's <laughs> got some friends here. Go on. So what if he has? What the? <laughs> You don't mind, you have to go. No, it's all right, Mum, we've been... God! Get off! <laughs> I've just looked at our windows, they're still filthy. I pay that window cleaner to come every Thursday, £15. Friday night again, he still hasn't turned up. Ooh. You can't see into the living room for the bird's mess. We must have the most incontinent flock of sparrows in England. What are they eat? <laughs> Centipods? What's this? Ah, look. <laughs> I, I, I nipped out at lunch and bought these. What do you think? I was going to buy a new set of boat shoes, and I thought, well, why not get something a bit more up to date? They're absolutely horrible. What? <laughs> And look at them. Beryl, you just don't understand. This is what everyone's wearing nowadays. Oh, well, have it your own way. If you want me, I'll be in here. Why? It's the mock Jane Austen on Monday. I did tell you I've got the whole of Mansfield Park to do tonight. Oh, I could have called in at the takeaway. It's all in hand. I'll see you later. But who's come? Do you want me to use the spring? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? A stir fry, would that be okay? Oh, yeah, right, Chinese, eh? Yes, well, that'll be very. What? What's this? Tofu. Tofu? It's all right, it's just bean curd. Mmm, well, that will make a change. I. <laughs> Shiitake. Ugh. You have to wrinkle your nose up. No, no, I didn't. I just thought for a moment I got something on my shoe. <laughs> well, like a cat. Yes, yes, very funny. Well, I don't suppose it was very funny for Mr. Frisky when his whiskers bonded to a fake Timberland. Yes, yes, all... Oh, ah, actually, I wanted your opinion on something. Why? Well, you know, I like to know what you feel about things. Hmm? I wanted to know what you thought of these, <laughs> eh? What do you think, eh? Honestly. Honestly? Yeah. Eh? I think they're absolutely horrible. What? <laughs> well, you did say honestly. You don't like them? No. But I thought you'd think these were great. Yeah, if you're hanging in the hood. If I... What? <laughs> mm. Well, what's wrong with them? Nothing. An eight-foot-tall basketball player. <laughs> I thought these were dead up-to-date. Yeah, up-to-date and in the groove. <laughs> Let me see yours. I had a pair exactly like that in the 70s. But I could still wear those. What, out? <laughs> yes? Please, not when I'm with you. I'm actually die. <laughs> right, well, I'll take them back tomorrow. At least I'm not one of those fathers who wears things his son would be embarrassed to be seen out with. Am I? <laughs> am I? Just leave it there, please. What, you mean I am? Do I wear things that embarrass you? Don't do this. No, I want to know what it is that I wear that is so deeply unfashionable. Nothing. I mean, I, I don't wear anoraks or... Or cardigans with little golf patterns, or grey shoes, or bry nylon drip dry shirts. <laughs> what? Nothing. No, you winced just then. 
Now, what is it? What is it I wear? You've got a so... two-button jacket in polyester mix, baggy-waisted trousers with turn-up, striped shirt with striped tie, cheesy buckled leather effect belt, patterned socks, and lace-up shoes with thin soles. <laughs> Yeah, but these are my work clothes. My casual clothes are different. <laughs> Aren't they? Hello. I saw the light on. Come in. Hi, your granddad. Well, well, well. Do we have a chef in the family? Ah, uh, just a quick Chinese stir-fry. Oh, 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 you're in for a treat there, Alan. Oh, you bought some new plimsolls, I see. <laughs> yes. Do you like them? No. <laughs> I popped in because the man with the table is back. Oh, good. Splendid. Who the hell is the man with the table? Well, don't you remember I told you? He has a table up in Ricelip Car Park by the hut. Oh, of course. How could I have forgotten that? All sorts of useful things for 99p. Dad, I have told you a thousand times, there is nothing useful for 99p. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's where you're wrong. <laughs> I got you one of these. Now, tell me you don't think that's useful. <laughs> Do you know what you can do with that? <laughs> Thought had crossed my mind, yeah. Press the little handle at the bottom. There you are, you see? You can get into all those hard-to-reach places with no problems. Oh, right. Well, maybe I'll stick this up my nose next time. It'll probably be safer. That's neat. Yes, isn't it? It goes round corners, too, see? Yes, yes, very nice. It was 99p. Oh, right, well, um... <laughs> I haven't got any change on me at the moment. Can you change a tenner? Change a tenner? Oh, no. Well, can I owe it to you? Oh, no, I don't believe in owing things. Well, all right, just, just take the ten. But then I'll owe you. Oh. Vincent, have you got a pound? Yeah. Then you'll owe me. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I owe you. It's Dad who doesn't believe in owing... Oh, what am I talking about, anyway? It's completely useless. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Eh? There we are. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's yours. Thank you. There we are. Paid for itself already. Yes. <laughs> Penny change. Thank you. Well, I'd better be going. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon, shall I? Yeah, well, I've got to take these back to the shop anyway, so I'll pick up at four. Right. Vincent, you are free tomorrow evening, aren't you? Yeah, why? Your father's taking us all out to a restaurant. Mm. What? Oh, don't you remember? You suggested it last Sunday. Yes, but I haven't actually booked anywhere. Oh, I have. I've got a table for 6.30. 6.30? Where? The, the steakhouse in Pinner High Street. Oh! That sounds rather nice. Yes, it is. And jolly well ought to be, too. The prices are astronomical. <laughs> so, that's agreed, then. You'll go straight on to the restaurant from your dad's, and I'll meet Vincent there after I've finished revising. Oh, I've got the whole of Emma and sense and sensibility to get through before then. My eyes feel like pin cushions. Is this too formal? My pyjamas would get less wrinkled, but I suppose it's... <laughs> important, Beryl. Once we go through this now, I need my sleep. Yeah, but you'll be busy tomorrow and I need your opinion. I'm tired and my head is full of various women with bonnets. Oh, please. <sighs> All right. What do you want to know? Now, tell me the truth. No beating about the bush. Is this outfit embarrassing? No. No, no, I mean really. No. No, you're not just saying that to shut me up. I told you, no. No, I don't mean if you were you. I mean if you were Vincent. Well, come Vincent. I can't do that. Why? I'd embarrass him. Oh. Look, look, look. All I need to know is, if I go to the restaurant like this tomorrow, will it be all right? Take the tie off. Take the jacket off. <laughs> now take the trousers and shirt off and come to bed. <laughs> All right. I just don't want to be one of those fathers who their sons dread being seen with. You're not. I'll never forget my father coming to sports day at my primary school. Tight white nylon shirt, thin black woolly tie, grey trousers flapping over his ankles, brown socks under his sandals. 
I was in the sack race. I had to pull the sack above my head to hide the blushing. <laughs> when I stopped hopping, I realised I was in the long jump pit. <laughs> oh, the other boys made my life a living hell after that. They called him Sandal Man. <laughs> even had special jokes about him. Just wear what you want. It doesn't matter. Why can't Hook's dad be a farmer? Because they don't make open-toed wellies. <laughs> How do you know if Hook's dad's been in the fridge, sandal prints in the butter? <laughs> What's the difference between the public lavatories and a beetle in Hook's dad's garden? One's been smashed by vandals, the other's been yes, mashed by... Yes, I think I've got the idea. <laughs> it's very painful. Painful than when you stuck the kebab through your hand. Well, no, not more painful than that. More painful than the firework night when you left your flies open and a jumping jack got it. No. Was it more painful than when the fairground ride ran amok and you got struck on the head by the flying hippo? Well, obviously not. It's not that painful, is it? You're just far too sensitive. How dare you say I'm too sensitive? Oh, well, all right, perhaps I am. I try not to be. You've just got to get used to the idea that not everything everyone says is deliberately designed to wound you. Yes, I know. If you ask me, that jacket's ruddy awful. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I'm only trying to help. How long have you been out there? Oh, well, I'm running a bit late. And by the way, that tie's a bit old-fashioned, too. Well, go away! Unbelievable! <laughs> That'd be 1450, please! Uh. <laughs> Do you got any change? Ah, there you are. Sorry I'm later than we said. They took an age with your prescriptions. I don't want everyone in the street to know I need pills. All right, I'll carry it. Did you change your plimsolls for a proper pair? No, no, I decided to get a refund. It's better to stick with the sort of clothes you're used to. I agree. So, are we waiting long? No, not really. I popped back to the man with the table. Got all sorts of useful things. See? Oh, yes, good. Well, look, it's ten to six. We'd better get back and get ready for the restaurant. Ten to six? We'd better hurry. Uh... Dad, we parked the car back that way. Yes, I know. Well, what are we... Oh, I haven't been down here for ages. Haven't you? No, no, we usually go to that big shopping centre in... Wait a minute. Isn't this where... Oh, my goodness, it can't. Look. It's Mr <laughs> Nigel. I can't believe it's still going. Mr Nigel, don't you remember? We used to get all my stuff there. School uniform, everything. <laughs> of course I remember. Shall we go in? Well... Oh, all right. <laughs> My God. <laughs> it's hardly changed in 25 years. Good afternoon. Hello. This is incredible. It's still almost exactly the same. Do you remember that rather disturbing man who always used to serve us? Presume it was Mr Nigel himself. Can I help you? Oh, God! <laughs> you give me a heart attack. <laughs> so sorry, sir. I, I didn't mean to startle you. Yeah, well, that's, that's all right, because we were just leaving. No, we weren't. Hello, Mr Nigel. Oh, good afternoon, Mr Hook. It's always a pleasure to see you. I called in for my trousers. Uh, sir's trousers. You said they'd be in by today. Yeah, they're probably in the back. <laughs> Won't be a jiffy. <laughs> Won't be a jiffy. <laughs> you mean you were actually coming in here? Yes, they're ordering some trousers for me. Oh, God, I thought for a moment you were actually buying some here. Well, I did buy them here. They were too long. Oh. <laughs> I buy all my clothes here. Always have done. <laughs> oh, my God. Why, is there something wrong with what I wear? No, no, nothing, nothing at all. 
Uh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Hook. They're, they're not quite finished yet. It, I'm afraid our Lady Tayloress's husband has a hernia at the moment. Oh, dear, is it serious? Uh, no, but she gets very emotional every time she has to snip off a button. <laughs> We're just going anyway. My son says he remembers you, Mr. Nigel. Your son? Oh, it's young Mr. Allen. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. <laughs> we haven't seen you for quite some time, have we, young Mr. Allen? No. <laughs> You've put a bit of weight on, I see. Have I? You used to be a 26 chest, if I remember. Yes, well, I was 12 at the time. <laughs> a 26 slim fit. That's what young Mr. Allen always had. Yes, well, I have got a bit bigger all over since then. Even so. What are you at the moment? 42 portly? Well, <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, he has put on a bit since then. No, I don't think I have, have I? Oh, yes, I think you have, Alan. No, well, it's difficult to tell. Would well, you like me to measure you? Um... <laughs> put your arms up, please, young Mr. Allen. Well, no, I really... I've got... Put your arms up, please, <laughs> young Mr. Allen. <laughs> Now let them drop. Oh, I thought so. Forty-one and three quarters. You know what I would have said before. Young Mr. Mr. Allen has been sucking too many gobstoppers. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, do you still have that unusually short inside leg? Well, I think perhaps we'd better be going. I could very easily check. Well, that's, that's very kind, but we really do have to be somewhere quite quickly. Alan's taking me out to dinner with his wife and my grandson. Oh, grandson? I bet he's a hefty boy like you, is he, sir? <laughs> no, no, not really. Well, that's why I really needed the trousers. It's a special occasion. A special occasion? Oh, I am so sorry. Uh, let me see what I can do. Won't be a jiffy. <laughs> Won't be a jiffy, Alan. Look, it's getting late now. We really have to go. But I haven't got the trousers. Oh, well, that doesn't matter, does it? Oh, they're a rather nice check. Well, I'm sure you can manage without them. Well, you don't want me to look shabby when I'm out with you, do no, you, Alan? No, of course I don't, but... Well, what is it, then? Well, it's just... I mean, can't you consider trying something a little bit more, you know, modern? Modern? Yeah, something a bit more up-to-date. Oh. We'll try a size larger. I'm sorry it was so long. I've scoured the stockroom and I have managed to find one pair of trousers in your exact size and length. Aha! Uh -huh. They're in the very popular Scarlet Velveteen. <laughs> what do you think, Alan? Um, uh, they are rather lovely, aren't they, sir? Very popular with our younger customers at the moment. Uh, a hipster style with... The slight flair. Yes, well, they're, they're very, very nice, but I'm afraid Dad never wears colours that vibrant, do you? No, not usually. Well, I'm sorry. But Alan thinks I should wear something a bit more up-to-date. Don't you? No, I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> I don't. You do, you just said so. Well, I didn't really mean it. Well, perhaps you'd like to slip them on and see. Do you think I should? No. Why not? Do you think I'm too fuddy-duddy to wear them? Well, no, of course I don't, but... Uh, Ah, oh, well, they, they wouldn't go with any of your jackets, would they? Ah, oh, that's true. Ah, oh, there you are, then. Oh, that's no problem at all, sir. I have a very good jacket that will pair with these. He's got a jacket. Has he? <laughs> it's a matching smoked blue velveteen with the very attractive needlework detail on the lapel. <laughs> Is that up to date enough for you, Alan? <laughs> well, it's... <laughs> it's lovely, but, um, actually, I notice now, actually, it's past closing hey, time. Don't you worry about that, sir. You're such old customers. I tell you what, I'll even throw in an evening shirt... <laughs> ..and a matching tie. <laughs> now, uh, there's no excuse for him not trying them on, is there? <laughs> no. Shall I put them into the fitting room? Yes, why don't you? Dad, you all right? No, it's nothing. Just a momentary pain in my arm. Oh, thank God. Come on, let's get going. <laughs> no, I feel like I'm... Is everything all right? He's got a pain. No, no, it's gone now. You sure? Yes, it's definitely gone, I think. No, don't, don't make a fuss. What? Can I get you some water? No, 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 I'll be all right in a minute. No, 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 look, we better get going. But I haven't tried them on. Well, you can't try them on when you've got a pain. No, I suppose you're right. Well, there is one way.
they'd be here. Hi, Ben. Hiya, mate. Mum, you remember Donny. Oh, you're a waiter here. Yeah, the pay's terrible. The tips are great. Hi, Vincent. Hiya. <laughs> there was no answer when I rang your granddad's. Can you see them outside? No. They must be coming straight from the shops. He won't be wearing those trainers, will he? Don't worry. I guarantee he won't. Alan! Alan? Yes? Time's getting on. What are you doing in there? I'm coming. <laughs> so? What do you think? It's terrible. I'm inclined to agree with you. Mutton dressed as lamb. Wiser left to our less mature customers. Pitifully clinging to the last vestige of you. Sad and incredible. It's all right, thank you very much. <laughs> Can we get changed back now? Yes, why don't you do that? We ought to be going. You do realise we'll have to go straight to the restaurant? Well, I've got nothing to change into anyway. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr Hook. I'll make sure your trousers are ready next weekend without fail. Well, thank you for letting me see them. Not at all. Where's your assistant? Assistant? Yeah, I handed him me things. So I can't find them. I don't have an assistant. <laughs> the other man with the suit, he was outside the changing room. The only other person in the shop was that shifty time waster trying on trousers for the best part of the afternoon. Moustache, blue shirt, tie. He left without buying anything five minutes ago. He's gone off with me things. Oh, my God! No, no, don't panic, Alan. We can always go back and get some more. No, my car keys are in the pocket and my, my house keys and my wallet. You'd better all have some keys. Well, what's the good of those if I've lost my trousers? I feel so responsible. Please, let me lend you that outfit for the <laughs> evening. <laughs> for the evening? This? You want me to go out like this? Don't worry, Alan. Nil desperandum. <laughs> Well, I can't see anyone. Oh, well, I suppose we might as well have a look at these. 